many people have asked me what the difference between a species and a subspecies is. So today I want to clarify that. In biology, there are many um, definitions for the word species, but the most commonly followed one is called the biological concept of species, which talks about reproductive isolation. So if a donkey and a tiger mate, there will be no offspring. So the donkey and the tiger are different species. If a donkey and a horse mate, there will be a mule, but the mule can't have children. It is infertile. So that therefore, again, the horse and the donkey are different species. But if two very different looking things can mate, for example, tigers and lions can mate and produce tigons and ligers, and they are fertile, producing light tigons. So uh, essentially lions and tigers are the same thing, although we don't want to admit it, but they are, biologically speaking, the same species. In India, in the case of butterflies, we have a very large area, but of particular interest is the Himalayan range, because we go from the very wet humid eastern Himalay to the drier western Himalay. And then over here it's quite dry in Afghanistan. So this has an effect on the creatures that live here. A good example of this is what is called the common peacock butterfly. It used to be called Papilia polycter, but that had to change. Now Papilia polycter is a rather variable species. In March, we have these little ones on top. You see this little one there? And this generation, the March generation, will give birth to the summer generation. That is a male, and that is a female. The male has these two little black lines across the green band, and the female doesn't have them. You see? So these common peacocks are from the western Himalay. So they're from here till there in Pakistan. In this region, we have these guys. As we move to the west, to the east, sorry, we have greater humidity here. And from here in this jumble of hills in the eastern Himalay, we have this one, which is what the common peacock looks like in the eastern Himalay. So it loses most of its bright colors. Now, this species, called the common peacock, was known as Papilio polycter. And Papilio polycter was known to occur along the Himalay, from here, here, along the Khasi Hills, and then down here to Thailand, where there's another subspecies. And from over here, the hills of Burma, northward into China, northeastwards, up to Japan, you had a different species called Papilio biano. It's not as bright as Polycter. Now, there is a, you must have heard of the butterfly houses where you have live butterflies flying around inside a greenhouse. Since a butterfly's life is not very long, between 10 days to 3 months, and they get damaged, beating their wings against the walls of the cage. So you have to keep replacing butterflies in one of these live butterfly displays. So the people who run these live butterfly display houses, they import pupae, which are bred on farms in the countries where those butterflies occur. So in China, they have farms breeding Papilio Biano and supplying the pupa to the butterfly houses. On one such farm, over here, in China, they were breeding this. They bred it for 23 generations like chicken. Keep a few, sell the eggs, sell the pupae, and keep a few and uh, raise the next generation. So they raised 23 generations of Papilio Biano. And suddenly in the 24th generation, Papilio Polycter came out. So suddenly it turned out that these two very different looking things are in fact the same species. 
So not only do they, so now the assumption is that if a male of this and a female of that breed, they will produce fertile offspring. So they are subspecies of the same species, right? As is that one. So these are variations due to climate. And um, to wind up, this Papilio polycter had to have a name change because the name polycter was given at a later date than the name Biano. So Biano is the older name. So this remained Papilio Biano Biano. This became Papilio Biano polycter. And this became Papilio Biano triumphata, I think now, from, from Arunachal Pradesh. That then is what a subspecies is. I hope this clarifies that.